Hi everyone, in this video we'll talk about divide and conquer algorithms. Now divide and conquer algorithms are a popular algorithmic paradigm that are used to solve a whole bunch of different problems that are recursive in nature. So in this video, I'll talk about the general divide and conquer algorithmic approach and in the subsequent videos, we'll look at specific examples. So many algorithms that you will study are recursive in nature. Now to solve them, what they do is they call themselves recursively. Now these algorithms which have this recursive nature follow the divide and conquer approach. Now in a divide and conquer approach, there are essentially three steps. The first step is called divide. The next step is called conquer. And the third step is called combine. So there's divide, there's com conquer, and the final step is combine. So that is the, the crux of the divide and conquer approach. So in the divide step, what do we do? We divide the problem. So you have a problem and you divide that problem into a number of subproblems. So you divide the main problem into a number of subproblems, which are essentially smaller instances of the main problem. Okay, these subproblems are all smaller instances. So say if you that you have a problem of size n, which is too large for you to solve, what you do is you divide them into say two pieces, and by two pieces I mean two instances, each of size n over 2. That is, each instance works on n over 2 inputs. Okay, So you're dividing the, the big problem into sub-problems that are smaller instances of the same problem. That is what is done in the divide step. Now, what do we do in the combined step? In the combined step, you, the, the goal is to is to to conquer these subproblems by solving them recursively. So that is the conquer step. So you will conquer these subproblems. So when you divide these subproblems, now you have to solve these subproblems. So you conquer or solve these subproblems by solving them recursively. So what you will do is you have a big problem, then you will divide them into smaller problems. Now each of these smaller problems, you will once again divide them into smaller problems and use this recursive approach. Now, the good part about recursion is that once you keep dividing, you will reach the base case. That is the case which is small enough or trivial enough that you can you just know how to solve them. There's a straightforward solution. So if the problem sizes are small, you know the, the solution is straightforward. That is the way to, to solve a recursive problem. Okay, so divide it and then you keep conquering these big problems by recursively solving them. A straightforward manner. Now, the final and the most critical step is combine. So once you have the big problem, you've divided them, you've conquered each of these smaller problems. Finally, you have to combine these solutions to these sub-problems to get the solution for the original problem. That is essentially the combined step. That is combine the solutions to the sub-problem to get the solution of the original problem. So in this video, we're just presenting the divide and conquer approach. So at this point, it may not be too clear to you what, how to actually apply this technique. So, so you have to bear with me in this video to understand uh, this approach. And in the next video, we will look at specific example. So in the next video, we will study merge sort, and then we'll study um, quick sort, and then we'll study Strassen's multiplication algorithm. So we'll look at three different examples in the next videos to where we apply this divide and conquer approach. So basically, coming back to the combined step, you'll combine these solutions 
for the subproblems into the solution for the original problem. Okay, so so this is the divide and conquer approach. Now, because it's an algorithms uh, video, we have once we design a, a new algorithmic paradigm, we have to figure out how much time it takes and how to do the runtime analysis. So we will conclude this video by, talk, by doing some runtime analysis. Okay, We want to figure out how much time does this take. Okay, So to do that, they are recursive algorithms. So let Tn be runtime for input size n. When the input size is n, Tn is the, the amount of time that the algorithm takes. Now, we have three cases. One is divide, then conquer, and then finally combine. So Dn is the time taken to divide problem of size n. So when you have a problem of size n, the time taken to divide the problem into subproblems is dn. Now, you can assume that the original problem, when you do this divide, so the original problem is divided into b subproblems. Okay, that's what you can assume that when you do the divide step, you divide is divided into b subproblems. Or it's very a subproblems each of size n by b. Okay, so you have a subproblems that you have to solve, and each size of each of these problems is n by b. Okay, so. So if you have this, then let's assume that Cn is the, the time for the combined step. Now you might be thinking that what happened to the conquer step? The conquer step is essentially recursive. So once you divide and have problems of smaller size, then the conquer step would basically run on that. So just to, to clarify and to understand this, so if you have the runtime as Tn, when you have small problems, say problems which are trivial, for say a size is one, two, something of that sort, and we're just gonna write, say for some constant C, that input size is less than constant, some constant C, the time taken to solve this algorithm is theta of 1. Now, otherwise, when n is pretty large, what you have to do is, you have divided the big problem into a subproblems, and the size of those problems is n divided by b. So you have to solve those a subproblems. This is essentially the conquer part of it. This is the recursive part. So this is where the conquer comes in. And then dn is the amount of time needed to divide a problem of size n and cn is the time taken in the combined step. So essentially this is how we can write the runtime of a divide and conquer algorithm. Now if you, if you look at one of the earlier videos in this playlist you will understand that this is how this is made this formulation makes it amiable or amicable to apply the master theorem and so once you formulate a problem as a divide and conquer uh, approach what you have is you can write the runtime in this form and all the techniques that we studied to solve the or obtain the runtime of recursive algorithms can be applied to find the runtime of a divide and conquer algorithm now with this i'll conclude this video in the next video We'll talk about merge sort, a specific algorithm which uses the divide and conquer approach. Thank you for watching.